Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and it is time to get your summer foodscape containers planted. I hope you'll be inspired by what I've been up to. some new potting soils for my new containers and I found this product that I think is really cool first of all I like the packaging check it out it's got a handle it's compressed pro mix and this is actually their organic gardening mix so it's sort of created for vegetables so I'm gonna give it a try in this middle container this pot here is going to have a black crim a coleus and a treasure island sweet potato. On either side of that, these pots have a uh, peche tomato, a coleus, and a different variety of treasure island sweet potatoes. I'm growing sweet potatoes in pots and in the ground this year, and I'm really excited to see if one or the other is more or less productive. And I know that these tomatoes are gonna do great because they are out of my ground, which is full of root knot nematodes. All right, I'm gonna open this bale and see whether it is ready to be planted in or if it needs to be soaked overnight with water. That's the critical component to these baled soils. Okay, so you can see the packaging. I bought this at Walmart. It is very reasonably priced. And it, I think the best approach for this when you open a new one, I'm gonna fill this pot halfway with it and I'm gonna fill it up with water. And then I'm going to put the hose on the rest of the bale and let it absorb water overnight. Then it'll be ideal for planting. So you can see this peat moss gets kind of like soupy. You see, and it's gotta just take time so that it will absorb the water. That way you can grow in it normally. It's a lot cheaper to buy it in these bales than it is as individual bags of potting soil. So this is more efficient, but it's definitely a necessary step. So you can see here in the pot, you know, it's like soup, but overnight this will get absorbed and I'll be ready to plant this final container. Well, it's the next day and you can see the soil is well hydrated and it's really perfect texture for being able to be planted in. That's in the bag and everything that was in the pot has also absorbed nice moisture. So it's time to plant. In here, it's going to be a chartreuse coleus, a black crim tomato, and Treasure Island sweet potato. These three pots are staged here in an easy to water area. They will eventually get moved to the patio next door once that concrete gets poured. But I think they look great. Not only are they pretty, but they will provide delicious harvest. This is the easiest way for me to grow tomatoes because unfortunately in my ground, I have a lot of different problems and tomatoes are really high maintenance. So growing them in deep containers is really the best solution. I can't wait to share updates with all of you as these continue to grow. Well, I hope you'll be inspired to create some foodscape containers for yourself and enjoy the beauty and bounty that they will provide all season long. Be sure to subscribe to the Bree the Plant Lady YouTube channel for more practical gardening advice and tune into my weekly garden tours so that you can see the progress of all of my containers and everything planted in the ground. Thanks so much for watching everybody.